Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell on the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to makeup look. This is how it turned out. If you guys are interested in seeing how I recreated this look, please go ahead and keep on watching. If you haven't liked or commented on this video, please go ahead and do so. And yeah, let's just get further into the video. So the first thing I like to do, I like to grab a baby wipe and I just like to clean my face before I put on makeup just so I can have a clean face to work with. I'm just going to go ahead and just wipe off any extra oils and dirt off my face. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a lip scrub that I got at Target. Um, here it is. And I just like to grab a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and just wipe off the little scrubs. I'm going to go ahead and just moisturize my face before I do my foundation and my concealer. I got it at Ulta. It's called the Pharmacopia Natural and Organic Body Care. It's this little tiny one. And I really like how light this is on my skin and how hydrating it is. I used to use primers but i don't like to use it anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and let that sit in in my face and while that is sitting in i'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows first i'm gonna go ahead and be using this manage eyelash and eyebrow brush it has a spoolie at the end and then a little ankle brush for your eyebrows um i just use this little spoolie brush to just brush on my eyebrows first i'm gonna have a little bit here i'm gonna be using my wet and wild ultimate brow kit um in the color 963 ash brown I don't use these two, but I use this dark one. And then I do use this little brush that comes with it. Like that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this really quickly. Go ahead and grab my little spoolie brush and brush it upwards. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this eyebrow and I will be right back. Okay, now that I did both of my eyebrows, I just pinned my bangs in the back because they were getting in the way. I'm going to be using um, the same brand, the Mang Blending Eyeshadow Brush in the brush number 16. Every time I am about to clean my eyebrows, I always clean the brush just to kind of get rid of the old product that I had on before. And I'm going to be using my Derma Blend Professional Cover Cream. I got this at Ulta and then it's in the color Natural Beige. Go ahead and clean the bottom first. And that's how the brows look as you guys seen i did not use an eyelid primer um i don't use eyelid primers either i was using the urban decay one but i honestly didn't like it so if you guys recommend me a really good one um just comment down below and let me know i'm gonna go ahead and just set my eyelids with this palette that i have it's called the amused professional back to basic eyeshadow palette go ahead and use this color just to set the eyeshadow I don't know if you guys can see Jenny's in the background. She's watching cartoons. The color that I'm going to be using is this burnt orange organdy kind of color. And I'm going to be using the same brush. I'm going to just tap. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the crease here. And then I'm going to go ahead again and clean the little brush that I was using to clean my eyebrows. I'm going to go ahead and use that to carve a little bit in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to be using my Tarte Concealer. Um, it's in the color Light Medium Honey. And I'm just going to add a little bit. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to use this color and put it on the lid. Go ahead and put on my eyelashes now and I will be right back. 
So now that I put on my eyelashes, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 220 Natural Beige. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some onto my beauty blender. And then just apply it really quickly. Now to conceal my eye, I'm using this Tarte Concealer. Just put it under my eye. And I'm going to contour a little bit, but I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match foundation. I don't know, I feel like foundation to contour kind of gives it a softer look rather than a powder. Um, but that's just my opinion. This is just the way I like to do it. Now to set my face with the powder, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match powder in the color Neutral. And then I'm going to be using my e.l.f. brush, um, powder brush. And I'm just going to use that all over my face just to set it. We set it. Only the places where I lightened my face, if that makes any sense. Like the parts where I kind of contoured or bronzed up a little bit, I don't like to put it over that. Um, you guys will see in a minute why. A little bit down the neck. Gotta make sure your neck is matching your face. I'm gonna be using this brush, this pointed brush from Ming in the number 19. And I'm gonna be using my NYX Professional Makeup. And I'm gonna be using these colors to bronze up, just this one. A little trick before, um, I just like to use anything that has a sharp um, flat end. I like to place it here and then put a little bit of the bronzing product. And then I just kinda like to go over it. That's going to give you that sharp um, look. And I don't like to have it too sharp though, where you can kind of see that. Um, that looks really sharp right now, but I like to blend it, which you guys are about to see here. Um, kind of give it that soft look like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side. I called the Google on the phone, let her know I'm home alone. It's 7 30 and the sun's going down. It's a summer night and the fun's going down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just Put a little bit of the shimmering eyeshadow that I put on my lid in the inner corner here. Just to give my eyes a little more of an awake look. Um, bien poquito, and then I like to put a little bit onto the brow bone here just to highlight. Just a little bit. I don't like it too shiny. <laughs> but, um, just a little bit. And to highlight my face, we're almost done. I'm gonna be using this light pink one. I really like it because it's a highlight and a brush, and I really don't like blush, uh, but this blush is kind of pretty. It kind of gives that peachy, glowy kind of color. Más poco bien poquito porque you guys can tell it has um, a lot. Más bien poquitito. And then a little bit on the nose here. And then I don't put it down the bridge of my nose. I just leave it like that. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline um, New York The Falsies Mascara. It's in the color very black, that's what it says here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the bottom of my eyelashes. I ran out of breath, I had to go to the garage and get my purse because that's where I have my lip glosses and my lip pencil. And I wasn't even running or any of that. I was literally just walking. But going up the stairs, that was a workout. Okay. I'm going to be using this lip liner. At Walgreens, I don't know what brand it is. Because the color and the brand and everything came off. Um, so I'm sorry. I can't give you guys the color. I'm just going to go ahead and just line my lips. And then I kind of make an X as I go down like that I'm gonna go ahead and be using this covergirl lip liner um, in the color let me see here um, 205 caramel nude and this is just going to balance out the lip color 
I just don't like wearing dark color on my lips. I feel like I can't pull it off. So me going over this is going to give it that nice brown light nude that I want. I'm kind of living for the color right now um but like I said for me like I feel like this is really dark <laughs> but I'm gonna just top it off with my Victoria's Secret Total Shine Addict lip gloss I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my concealer that I use for my eyebrows and I'm just gonna clean the bottom of my lip just to kind of give it that clean look on the bottom here a little bit on the top here there we go just like that but that is it you guys this is my go-to makeup look this is my favorite go-to makeup look if i have to go somewhere really quick and i honestly don't know how i want to do my makeup kind of a natural look but still soft and glam at the same time but other than that hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one